In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a cover. We're going to do one for a yearbook cover, but you could do this for uh, plenty of other things too. So, to start off, I'm going to just jump into Photoshop and just do a file, new, and create a new document. And the document I'm going to create is just going to be an 8.5 uh, by 11. And make sure you're in inches, that's kind of the first thing. So. Uh, width, I'm just going to go 8.5, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this in. But that could be any dimensions. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave it at 225, but um, if you're doing this as a final, you probably want to be closer to 250 or 300. So I'll just go ahead and click Create. And the first thing we're going to do is just jump in to over here on the Gradient tool. If you click and hold on that, you can go to the Paint Bucket tool and you can just fill in whatever color you want. So mine was on black, but if I double click, I could choose whatever color I wanted to, and then just dump that, that color in. Um, if you click and hold on the gradient tool, or sorry, the paint bucket, you can also go back to the gradient tool. So those two right there kind of um, just fill colors. And the way this tool works is if you click and drag, you can create like a, a gradient. So. Um, if you click here, you can get some preloaded ones. The first one is always whatever two colors you have here. So if you wanted to do uh, just those two colors, just click and drag. And if you hold down Shift, you can also constrain it uh, a little bit. So, so that, that's kind of the gradient tool. If you do click on it, you can also get to this gradient editor and actually change if you wanted to have more colors in there. Or if you want to delete, you can also pull down and remove colors and reapply that. So I'm going to press Command-Z to undo. So the next thing is uh, just playing with some text. So if I click on the text tool, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. And then don't click and drag, just single click. That'll create a text box. And then you can type in whatever you want that text to say. So uh, if I wanted to type out maybe the name of the school, uh, and then grab the move tool and you can kind of move that around to where you want it to go. Um, if you press command T or control T on a PC, you can resize it uh, to scale it to kind of do whatever you want with it. So once again, the text tool, uh, which is right here, uh, single click, and then you can type out whatever you want it to say. So maybe I would type out um, the, the theme or something uh, for this book and just kind of throw that in there. If you want to change the font, uh, select on it with uh, and, and you have these layers over here so you can select on the layer and then go back to the text tool. Don't click inside of it, just come up here to your file type and from there you can choose whatever font you want to choose that is on uh, that computer. So I can put that in there. Um, if I decide I want to move that, I can move it around again. Command T uh, to resize it. Uh, and you can also resize that a different way. You can also go up to uh, edit and transform and you can scale, rotate, warp and do some other things with the text. If you want to do a little bit more with the text and maybe you don't have the right font, um, let me just jump to a website. So I'm going to go to this website right here called thefont.com. You can type it in, um, but thefont.com just allows you to download and install fonts Mac or PC. So you click on the download button, and then from there, um, I would just come and show in Finder, find where it's at. And then once I've found where it's at, usually you have to unzip it. So I'm just going to double click to unzip that particular font and then it'll either give you a folder uh, like this one down here gave me a folder that it's in but I'm looking for an, a TTF or an OTF so um, the, the OTF the TTF which I have right here I'm just going to double click on that I'm going to jump back into this mode so I can click on it easier so double click give me this install font <clears throat> on a Mac it uses font book on a PC uh, it uses something different, um, but you should be able to just double click on on a, mat, on a PC as well. So now that I have that, I can go back, so Command-Tab to just kind of flip between screens, 
And then I'm going to go ahead and maybe I don't want that font anymore. Uh, so I'd go in and um, click on the text tool. And the trick is, is just remembering what you just downloaded. So click on it and then hopefully find where that's at. If you press letters, uh, it'll do a search. So I, that one that I just downloaded started with Y, so I just clicked on that. And then there's my font that I've now put in there. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, well, not the last. Um, over here, there's also a shape tool, and you can add shapes if you wanted to do some simple shapes. Uh, you can also click and hold and do custom shapes. Come up here and make sure it's on shape and not path. Um, but you can come down to this little icon and do all. And then you'll get all these. So if I wanted to add um, like a paw or something like that, I could just click and drag that in there. And it's green right now because that's what this color is here. So if I don't like that color, I can change it up to whatever color. And I'm just going to leave it that green. Uh, for now. Um, so and I can make that big here in the middle or whatever you want to do. Uh, the last thing I want to do is just add in a, uh, a graphic from somewhere off the internet. So I could come back to this site uh, or uh, and I have a bunch of graphics for Hillcrest is, is what I'm using it for. So but you could grab this from any website. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into uh, my place where I have all these logos and everything. Uh, so I have all these graphics, PNGs, JPEGs that I'm going to attempt to use uh, in here. And the easiest way to bring one of these into Photoshop is have Photoshop open and then have wherever you have it saved that open. And um, I can come over here and just look for what I want. So um, grab. I'll grab this one, just click and drag, and then throw it in, and then uh, right away I can resize it and position it where I want it to go. Um, so so that, that hopefully will get you started on just creating a simple uh, cover design.